Hi everyone, welcome to Dharma Earth's Dose of Dharma and this is your Dose of Dharma for today. So the next three types of uh, next uh, group of uh, trees uh, of Dana's classification eh? uh, this one is uh, the classified into three types. Eh? One is Dukkara Dana is uh, the meaning is gift which is difficult to be given. Another one is Mahadana. So, this, what does it mean? It means a uh, big dana or our inspiring gift of great magnificence. And Samanya dana, which is common form of gifts which are neither too difficult to make nor too magnificent. Hmm? Like that. An example of uh, Dukkara Dana, uh, a gift which is difficult to be given, uh, is given by uh, one story in Sri Lanka in, in, in the ancient time. So there was a poor man who lived in Mahagama, uh, which is a place in Sri Lanka, who earned his living by selling firewood. His name was Tissa. Uh. So one day he he told his wife, oh, our life is uh, so humble, so low, and uh, so poor. So even though the Buddha uh, have, uh, give, had taught the benefit of Nimbada Dana, which is the observance of the duty of regular giving, but we cannot afford to do this practice. But we can do one man, one thing, uh, is uh, we can start giving alms food regularly, twice a month. And then when we have when we can, when we can afford more, uh, we will try for the higher offering of food by tickets, uh, like that. So his wife was agreeable to this proposal, and then uh, uh, they started. The next morning, they started to give whatever they could afford uh, uh, as alms food to the bhikkhus. And during that time, uh, there was a very prosperous time for the bhikkhus. And the bhikkhus were of, uh, receiving uh, uh, good food in plenty. There were some certain untrained young monks, uh, uh, young bhikkhus and samaneras, who accepted uh, the the food uh, offered by uh, this uh, this family, but it was a very poor quality food. Uh, and some of them they were untrained; it was very bad. So they they threw it away in their presence. Then the housewife reported to her husband, Ayah, they threw away our arms food. But even though uh, she said to she reported to her husband, he never had an unpleasant thought about the incident. Then this uh, this uh, the, the husband uh, had a discussion with the wife, uh, then he said, Those who have children uh, will not be poor. So uh, they say they negotiated uh, then after that uh, they <coughs> and then after that, uh, they send their daughter uh, to uh, to a household and then uh, to do some service. And then with the money, uh, uh, with the money that he got, uh, he managed to buy a cow. And then after that, uh, <coughs> after that, uh, uh, after buying a cow. Then after that, because of the purity of their wholesome volition, volition means intention, so the cow uh, gave a lot of milk, like that. Huh? So with the milk, and then they processed the milk, and then after that, finally, uh, they were able to uh, process the milk into cheese and butter, and then after that, uh, they managed to offer it to the Sangha. And in this way, they were able to make offerings of uh um, so which was well accepted by the Sangha, like that. Huh? <clears throat> and be, be, probably because of their pure intentions, so they were able to <coughs> make a, a ticket offerings uh, to the Sangha. That means uh, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of victim. Uh, huh? Then uh, from that time on, uh, his offering was available only to the noble ones of high attainment. Then that time the husband said, Oh, uh, thanks to our daughter, we are safe from humiliation. So we have reached a point where the noble ones accepted our arms food with great satisfaction. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> so after that he says, Now please continue this dana. 
then I shall go and work, uh, uh, some kind of work. Then after that, I shall go and re- uh, redeem our daughter from her service, like that. Uh. So he went for, to work for six months in a sugar mill, and then he managed to save up enough money for uh, to uh, to uh, get his daughter back uh, from the service. Then after from the contract, uh, then after that, so he went uh, with the intention uh, to uh, pay uh, the the daughter's boss uh, for the contract and to get her daughter back, to get his daughter back. Then after that, uh, uh, he saw uh, another vulnerable on the, along the way. Then after that, uh, when he saw the vulnerable, so he say, uh, then he thought. And he managed to uh, uh, engage in a talk with him. Then after that, uh, he he want to offer food to this vulnerable. Uh, so he invited the vulnerable to sit down. Then he then he saw a man coming, um, a man uh, with a packet of cooked rice in his hand. So he went there and then he said, "Oh, uh, I I wish to offer one piece of money. Please uh, sell me your rice." Then the man he thought, "Oh." This rice is not worth uh, so much, but this guy, he is paying so much for this rice, something must be wrong. So he say, oh no, no, I don't want to give you. And uh, he, then uh, the dayaka, uh, the donor, the faithful donor, he increased and increased until he offered all the money he have. Then the guy finally asked him, why, why you want to, uh, why you want to, Get so much money for this, eh? offer so much money for this, for this rice. It's not worth it. Then he explained to him. Then after that, he says, "Oh, if this is the case, eh? <clears throat> if this is the case, okay, uh, then I will sell it to you." So the man finally sell, eh? is uh, sell the sell the food packet to him. Then after that, this guy, eh? uh, this faithful donor, uh, he. Went there and then he offered it to the big to the bhikkhu. Then after that, uh, the bhikkhu, uh, uh, eating and then after that he he they walk together and then after that the bhikkhu ask uh the bhikkhu ask him and then after that the faithful donor told told the bhikkhu uh, everything about him. Uh. So the 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 bhikkhu was very very. Uh, he was uh, shocked, and he was struck by uh, the intense uh, faith of this uh, faithful donor. So he thought, "Ah, oh, this man has made a very difficult dana, an offering which is difficult to make, because the money is meant to uh, meant to free uh, the daughter from the contract." But uh, but um, he offered it. Uh, uh, he offered. It, he used it to offer rice to me. Oh, this is very, oh my, this is very, very difficult. Uh, I'm greatly in debt to him and I shall show my gratitude in return. So, so he says, he, those are, those are the Bhikkhu thought to himself, if I can find a suitable place, I shall strive hard and attain Arahan in one, Arahanship in one sitting. So finally, uh, finally, uh, he went to one monastery, uh, the Bhikkhu, and then after that he strived hard and then after that, <clears throat> After that, uh, finally he attained, uh, uh, he attained arahanship in one sitting, uh, like that. Then after that, after attaining, uh, then he went there, and then after that he sounded a drum, so to gather the sangha. Then all the sangha gathered and say, "Oh, uh, vulnerable, why do you do? Why do you sound a drum?" Then after that he say he he says, "Oh." Uh, I have no other purpose, but if any member of the Sangha have any questions about the attainment of path and fruition, I wish them to ask about me. Then after that, uh, the, the Sangha, uh, there was no, in, among the Sangha, there was no question. Then the abbot asked this vulnerable, why he persevered so hard, uh, so hard, sacrificing even his life for this attainment. Then this vulnerable told him uh, what had happened that day. And then <coughs> he says, and then the rubber says, uh, "Oh, uh, may my corpse uh, be remain unmovable until my 
donor, my faithful donor, this, uh, this faithful donor comes and lives with his own hand. And so after that, uh, this venerable passed away that very day. Then, after that, the king uh, uh, came and then ordered his men uh, to, to put the body uh, on, on a place, uh, on a suitable place, and then to take it to the funeral, uh, funeral prey at the cremating ground. But they were not able to move it. Uh, so after finding out the reason for this, uh, the king sent for the faithful donor, and had him dressed in very very nice clothing and asked him to lift up uh, the lift up the 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 platform uh, that that the uh, the venerable's body was put on. And then the moment uh, uh, this faithful donor went there and touched that platform, the platform rose into the sky and traveled by itself to the cremating ground. Like that, huh? So this donors. Uh, this donor's dana, this faithful donor's dana, including the involving the sacrifice, uh, and without any grudge, uh, without any hesitation, of this uh, twelve pieces of money, which was needed for uh, uh, taking his daughter back from serve from from the contract, and had taken six whole months to earn. This is indeed a very very difficult dana to do. So that's why this is known as Dukkara Dana. Hmm? So with this, uh, hopefully uh, all of you will be able to cultivate uh, and be able to, uh, if you want, be able to practice this kind of a difficult Dana and then be able to uh, accumulate very, very wonderful merits uh, for your path uh, to Nibbana. Yeah. Okay, so with this, I wish all of you to be well, peaceful and happy. And then I, uh, and then uh, may the Chubijan bless all of us to be able to attain our fruition and nibbana as soon as possible. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.